So, I'm trying to replace the um, RAM on my uh, Toshiba Nintendo so you can see it. This is the motor, this Toshiba C55-B5319. <clears throat> gonna try replace this. So I'm gonna stop the video every now and then. But what you do is uh, you take off all the screws. See a tiny one here. All the screws. I've taken most of them out. Got a one, two, three, and four left. I'm gonna go ahead and take those off real quick. So all the screws are out right now. As you can see, uh, missing one. Yeah, missed one right there. So always double check so you don't snap it. As you can see, there's one. I missed one. I'm getting it out right now. And uh, I only have one hand, so bear with me. Some things you might not see me do. But all the screws are out. Um, just to let you know, these two screws right here hold your battery in for this motor. You not take it, I need both hands, but you can like push outwards. Try not to press on the laptop, but you basically pull it out. Once you take these two screws out, you can pull the battery out and make sure your laptop is off before replacing this. So back here, I had to take this off. But um, as you can see, it sits in flush and you basically gently pry it out. So the battery I'm going to put on one side. And uh, when you do this, when before you open, you take this off, try to make sure you, know, you can wear gloves or something. Um, try to touch nothing, metal and all of that when you're doing it. So you basically don't have a static charge on you. but uh, to take this case off, you basically reach for the edges. I'm sure, sorry, the lighting is bad, but you pry, gently pry all around. All right, try not to break this. I have opened this before, so it will be easier. But um, this fan cooler area, this plastic is very flimsy. I broke it the first time by accident. Well, it wasn't by accident, I was being very careful, but it just was so perfectly seated in there now. I'm going to try open it and I'll continue back. So I've pried it off. I used uh, this uh, flat tip. Like I said, just be careful. If it's the first time you're opening it, it's going to be very difficult. But as you can see here, this is the part this side comes out. That's where it sits on. So let me take it off. So this is what it looks like open this is your um, hard drive right here you know this is what we are going to be replacing and this is the uh, RAM this is uh, I believe it's a 4 gig and uh, <clears throat> I got uh, I can't remember the website where I got this from but I got this this is actually a uh, an 8 gig and, and you know before you put it in make sure you note the direction is going in I think it will fit in one way I said this is an 8 gig and that's a 4 gig uh, problem with the laptop was it was just taking running real slow I know and uh, I've deleted a whole bunch of stuff from it worked fine um, didn't improve nothing and someone said why don't you try do that and uh, the best buy was gonna charge uh, well a couple of a uh, few hundred dollars for this. And I've seen other videos where guys did this, and I want to do a direct one so that for people the same. This is a Toshiba, like I said, it's a model uh, C. Well, now that I have it off, let me put it there. So, this is the model. So, if you have this, it's uh, oh, you see. Yeah, this is Toshiba C55-B5319 and like I said, this is the, uh, doesn't have the part number here, I don't know if this will help, so this is what I got, 
get it yep. a gig so it looks like sorry about the lighting guys this way I have to do it yep so I'm gonna go ahead like I said I need both hands just make sure no static you know current and all of that stuff you can use rubber gloves but I have to put the phone down and then to take this off you have to depress um, this tiny clips there's one here and one on this side and basically press them it pops up you pull it out and when you go to put a new one in you I'm, I'm, I'm flipping it because that's how it's supposed to be it's like you fit it in push down and it it sits in there all right I'm gonna you might not be able to see me do that because I need both hands but I'll show this is the old one and like I said this is the newer one so apologies just to correct myself I think the tabs on either side I said to push them in you uh, pull them out I just cut them I said that so you pull them out and this is as like I said it pops up and you grab it and pull out so this is it right here this is the uh, part number and make sure this is the old one and um, sorry my phone is not focusing properly I'm not sure why why it's not doing that right now but, yep that's it so I'm gonna go ahead and put the new one in need both hands so so just for reference the one at the top this one uh, the, the one with the stick on it that's the old one and this is a new one I said it's a uh, four four gig RAM and this is a uh, eight so hopefully this will improve the speed now I'm gonna try to show you guys with my hands so a little closer these are the pins I was telling you guys about right here second one right here and what you want to do it only goes in one way so so you can see see where the notches are just lining up lined up that way and so you have to be gentle I have to use both hands I'm gonna pause that so you want to put it in like that it has a notch right here so you can make a mistake and you want to push down push down and then sometimes too um you know some laptops might have two of these two cars maybe on top of each other side by side sometimes your laptop is low it might just be from maybe you've dropped your laptop maybe one or two times you got lucky didn't break nothing but the card might just be loose so sometimes you can just open it reset i did that and it was still running slow so um and when you're done you can um carefully blow if there's dust this looks pretty good to me no problem so i'm just gonna close it back up with just the reverse and uh, just put a case back in so it's back in now i just need to put the screws back in i'm going to uh place the battery it has this tracks that it goes in so you know when you know i'm sorry this sucks to do one hand yep okay so sorry about that as you can see i'll do that away apologize for that so basically you can put it in and then you just replace all the screws and that's how you replace the ram card on your laptop or on the toshiba c55-b5319 so put it back together power up make sure before you do this you completely turn off your laptop um, last time when I took the card out you have to reset the time and uh, 
some other stuff in your boot page I'll see if it's gonna make me do that yep so you get this it says uh, daytime you know just you know press enter and uh, for me I didn't touch nothing I just did the uh, the time and basically what I did was uh, actually set it with my phone time um, that's about the most accurate so if I have a phone more. the problem I have right now is I'm recording on my phone so I'm gonna get a time from the TV let's see if I can do that I'll get it from the TV because that would be the most accurate one it's gonna go to the internet so it's just a click apologize for the angles um, and it, it might be slightly different for you but uh, it's 12.05 a.m. Yeah. Yep. Let's see. It's middle of the day, actually. Let's see. Just trying to make sure it's not a 24-hour set. So, yes, it is. So, I'll do that. And I will let the time just sit. That, that I reset this to zero. See twelve oh six. I can always go back and and correct this. And uh, don't forget to set your date. And today, this is uh, October. Let's see, October. Oh my God, I can't remember the. I got my watch here. So this is the third of October. Yeah, at 28. I'm not sure what day it is, but I think it's the third. It's the third of October. Oops, sorry. 2020. All right. Like I said. It might be wrong, but I can go back and change it. And uh, I click uh, save and exit. Yep. So, I'm not gonna let you guys see through it. So, it, did, it took a while to uh, boot up. And I guess that's just because um, 